Wait, girls just go on dates with guys that they like they plan on not liking and never talking to again? Going on a date with a guy I definitely don't like and will never talk to again. Is that what it says? She put that on <clears throat> her TikTok. Like, this was my plan. I wanted to go on a few casual dates with a guy I planned on not liking and never talking to again. I've never. And, oh, now I like him. Is that what, is that female behavior? That's the all time. That, I feel like couples do that. When you ever been to a wedding and they're like, I remember like, you know, you know, Johnny, he was, had a crush on Sarah for the longest time. And he asked, he asked her out. Yes. I've three or four this. times. Yes, yes, yes. And she was like, no, 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 ew, gross. And then finally she agreed. You're like, oh, I got nothing better to do. And that date went well. And here we are. He's a total piece of garbage. Guys. And she, he literally, she borderline filed it for a restraining order, but gave him a chance. And here we are. You're like, who anyway, was enjoying this story? To Jeffrey and Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, uh. I'm Alexis. I'm the matron of honor. I've known these two for a while. And let me just say, we used to call him, uh, you know, we all know him as Noel. We used to call him Nozel because his nose is so freaking big and gross. <laughs> and he's so skinny and he's dumb. And when, we all hated him. When we learned his middle name was Carl, we did switch his nickname to Creepy Carl because yeah. he would, would not stop asking out Nozel, Alyssa. Creepy Carl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We had the funniest nicknames for him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So he just asked her out, asked her out, DMing her, DMing her. She, he, she blocked him everywhere. But you know, you know how it goes. Years went by and she was still she single. She forgot about LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, Alyssa, you're forgetful. Yeah. You're so forgetful, Alyssa. He got in there. She was at this point pretty desperate. So she gave him a chance. And she, it turns out he was great and she loves him and here we are and you, he totally doesn't deserve you. <laughs> to the happy couple. To creepy Carl and Alyssa. Yeah. That, half the ones I've been to, that has happened. No exaggeration. I have that written down in my notes for like potential stand-up comedy premises. Like in Christian culture, it's like he, she, he asked her out, he asked her out 17, 18 times and eventually she said yes. It's like in any other Context. I mean, that is so. Let's keep it going. So creepy. I've got a great Bob Goff take. Bob Goff. Oh, uh, he's doing a lot of good stuff. But I'm, I'm not irritated with Bob Goff himself. I'm irritated with how much people love like Bob elevate Goff. Bob. How ele they elevate him too much. They're like, this guy. I mean, he's what is he? He's a lawyer, and he also owns part of Uganda, and he. He's hasn't stopped smiling for six years straight or something. You're like, okay, no, this isn't replicable. This guy clearly, I guess he has a lot of energy or something. And one of his stories in his book that I began to read was like, um, he like laughs it up. He has this big smile, big personality. He's like, I tried to ask out Marie for six months. She said no every day. I left a note on her car every day for six months. And then she finally said yes. And here we are. It's like, it, it, okay, no one do that in 2021. You will get arrested. If she says no, <clears throat> maybe one or two more times. Then we know Bob Goff now is a serial killer. Yeah. That's what happens at that story. If she yeah. doesn't say yes eventually, then it's like, oh, yeah. Ted Bundy, Saddam Hussein, Bob Goff. Three huge villains. That's what happens if she doesn't eventually say I've, yes. I've known a number of Christian dudes who, like, they do the classic, I know this girl's the one. I'm going to haunt. I'm going to terrorize her until she says yes. And then they just straight up get a restraining order. You're like, yeah, you need, don't uh, do that. I just can't catch a break. <laughs> Jesus, give me strength. Oh, oh what is this restraining order? They didn't yeah. have these in the Bibles. I don't know what to, I don't know what the Bible says about restraining orders. It's so outdated. It. I love it, man. It's great. I remember I there was a book, um, Wild at Heart, I think. Yeah. Or something. It was like a book about it was for Christian men. It basically was like men love to hunt and fish and be a strong and you 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 fight for a woman. You go after her. And it I I mean how many it cost that book is responsible for hundreds of restraining orders. <laughs> <laughs> See, catch and release is something we like to do with women. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> emphasis on the catch. Yeah. <laughs> Go get them, boys. Hook, line, and singer. Yeah, I don't know where that comes from. If anything, I'm the opposite. Like, girl gives even me the inkling that she's not interested. I'm like, I don't yeah. want to. Eh, do you want to go on a date? Yes, I do. I don't think you do. You you, you didn't put a comma after yes, comma, I do. Uh, you probably okay. don't. You're probably just being nice. Message received. Don't worry I about will it. We'll move on. Don't <laughs> worry about it. All right. I mean, yeah, every other day I have to like check with Katie. Like, you still, we're still, you're still good with us? We're still good, right? She's like, yes, I love you. I'm like, I don't really, I don't buy it. But you, I had to ask you before you said I love yeah, you. Yeah, I don't. And she's like, okay, can you leave me alone? I'm trying to, I have an actual job. <laughs> it's just a, what a weird trend to say this this man is a total piece of garbage. She's beautiful. She's prettier than him. She's smarter than him. She's better than him. 
and what a what a perfect couple they'll make. <laughs> it's like what? Like list off all the girls' qualities. She is she is trustworthy. She is compassionate. She is loving. She's the most servant-hearted woman I know. And Jeffrey here, he is uh, he is perseverant. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> almost to a fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's why they're great together. It's like, no, they're not. These are opposite qualities. I heard a story recently where like this guy, he went on a mission trip and saw it was just a bunch of strangers coming together through something. And there's a girl about his age on the, on the mission mission trip. And he sees her before they even meet, sees her on Facebook. That's the one. That's the one. That day he writes a note out that's like to be read on our wedding day or something. Like this is the day I knew you'd be it. Um, come full circle that's true right so now it's like what a sweet romantic beautiful story yeah but that the the guy the type of guy who does that that's probably his fourth try of doing that <laughs> yeah he's 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 tried that with three past girlfriends and had to kind of burn that note <laughs> second of all um was this girl by far the hottest girl in this facebook group <laughs> yes <laughs> that was just a convenience that's just that's who he felt compelled for no other reason. That's just funny that like he literally, basically it was Tinder. It's like I you just swipe through Tinder like that. This is the one. I don't know why I just have this feeling. Does she literally look like Megan Fox? Yes. Are we about to spend six months in Thailand together? Yes. yes. I will make it work then. But I yeah, I because I knew a guy like that different friend who, um, probably two girlfriends in a row he would do something like that he's like he this, is, this is a box of things like i know she's the one and like the, when the day comes i'll give it to her and like broke up or like he literally had to just like throw it away <laughs> <laughs> hope you just enjoyed that clip that comes exclusively from my patreon page go to treykennedy.com slash patreon to see that and so much more exclusive content Every week, there is the full Do Less Guest podcast on there, behind-the-scenes videos, never-before-seen videos, all sorts of stuff. Check it out. 